hello it is a particularly very very hot day well what am i saying it's hot in lagos i am in right now we are, we are we are in a very hot season anyway good afternoon it's it's set to after 1 p.m it's about one or two minutes past 1 p.m this is verses and paragraphs on facebook live and i am a rumena amata also known as mena to many yesterday we were talking about the saddest phrases in english one of them that we came up with was goodbye and one of my friends when i today i put up a post to facebook and i said is goodbye one of the sad happiest or saddest phrases in english and he said that it was one of the saddest for him and his family that when his children and go off and goodbye he just tells them see you later and even when he's on a tour his wife just tells him see you later she doesn't even tell him goodbye because it is one of the saddest feelings now since we mentioned goodbye as one of the saddest phrases in english i just thought why not let's talk about the best or should we say the worst ways to say goodbye and hello my sister is watching from edinburgh good to have you on board thank you for hooking up so today we're going to talk about the best and worst ways to say goodbye now one of the words is adieu now adieu connotes a certain air of finality where you consider the fact hello hello i says hello joe jessica where is watching to from lagos hi joe gibbs it's very hot in lagos i know you're in lagos isn't it very hot very very hot anyhow i was talking about the best and worst best or should we say worst ways to say goodbye and one of them is adieu and adieu literally trans translates to god so if you are saying adieu it means you are sending the person to god so it is not it's not a very good way to say goodbye but it's one of the ways that people say goodbye and it means by if i tell somebody adieu adieu a d e i u then it means that you are telling the person okay this might be the last time we see you then another way of saying goodbye or thank you you go for an interview you've done your best and the people on the interview panel says don't call us will call you that is just a very polite way without sounding rude to say look here well very good now that way they can also say is we'll be in touch now once you've finished an interview and they tell you don't call us we'll call you or we'll be in touch Ma, i'm very sure they might not be in touch atta ogbole is watching from lagos yes joe gibbs it is hot in lagos what and i'm actually sitting down outside on an airy balcony the breeze is blowing because if i sit down inside even with the fan it's very hot and i'm outside so i'm just coping with it outside so talking about the best and worst ways to say goodbye you want to say goodbye without being outright rude one of the ways is adieu which literally translates to god and if you're telling somebody to god that means you're sending the person mm, oh yeah bye bye then another way is when you don't know how to get the person so oh, i'm so sorry oh i wish i could have joined you for lunch but you see i have to take my grandmother to the tailor you don't want to tell the person outright that i beg i don't want so you're just looking for a polite way to say look please get out of here then there's another polite way and depending on the frame of voice the tone of the voice when someone tells tells you you should leave now and usually when they're telling you you should leave now the people that are not actually smiling i'm sure the person is actually tired has given you every hint of every sort and you're not catching on and then the person just goes in a very stern voice you should leave now if you are wise you actually leave Another one again is the show is over. When people go to watch a film or a movie, when they film it, they don't sit down and hang around now. 
she won't be watching the get and go but you you sit down there you don't want to go the person has given you a hint and when you don't want to get the hint the person just says, okay the show is over I didn't tell me where you're watching. Where are you watching from, Mukar? Are you watching from Kano or Abuja? Thanks for hoping on. Then, another way again to say goodbye in a very, very polite way is that I wish you could continue, but you see the taxi is waiting for me out there because some people just continue to talk and don't even want to shut up. So when somebody says, I, 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 I hate to but the Uber is waiting outside. Just an excuse, just, just to get off. Today we're talking about the best or worst ways to say goodbye. Goodbye, like we concluded yesterday, is one of the saddest words or saddest phrases in English language. And my friend, Dr. Raphael James, confirmed it today when he said that when his children are going to school, he doesn't like telling them goodbye. Instead, he says, see you later. And when he is going to talk, his wife doesn't tell him goodbye. She just doesn't see you later. So, talked about the different ways or the different ways, either best or worst ways to say goodbye. One of them is adieu. Adieu, the try translates to God. So, if I tell somebody I'm sending you to God, what does that mean? Air of finality. And then, when you keep on talking, 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 and the person doesn't even know what to say, so okay, I hate to cut the shot. Because some people just know how to talk, they just know how to run, but I hate to this shop, but the tax is waiting outside. And then when you go for an and they tell you, don't cause, we'll call you. They don't know how to like they didn't do well. And you, in your heart of hearts, you'll be wondering. And then when you now say, okay, we'll keep in touch. I'm sure you know from the depths of your heart that that, that interviewer is not going to keep in touch. And then again, you are just being a nuisance and the person doesn't have to tell you to go and then the person just changes the voice and says you should leave now you will know that that person has had enough of you and if you were wise you would actually leave and then the other one i said was when they tell you the show is over if you go to the cinema house to go and watch a film surely when the film is over you get up and go but some people they want to stay on they want to keep on drinking Meanwhile, like there used to be one that they used to say, my father told us this one, that uh, when people are no longer welcome in their house and they have overstayed their welcome, suddenly the mother or somebody will just carry a broom and start sweeping and say, ah, this time yesterday we were sweeping the house. If anyone has their senses, that is a polite way to say it's high time you leave. And so I want to talk about our word of the day our word for today is i'll hold it up so you can see busticate 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 is that b-u-s-t-i-c-a-t-e and it means to break into pieces busticate and it is a word gotten from northern united states busticate it means break into pieces so what can you break into pieces i bust it that piece of cake in a violent way I was so hungry I just busticated some bread can you busticate bread I don't know whether you can busticate bread anyway busticate is a verb and it means to break into pieces so I'll just do a roundup of today we'll talk about the best or worst ways to say goodbye when you don't want to be outright rude you tell people adieu sending them to God you tell people like if you go for an interview say don't call us we'll call you or we'll keep in touch then there's also the show is over when you don't want to leave and they are looking for a way to get you out and then there are some when they've given you a hint and you don't want they now change their voice and say you better leave now and then there's also the one that uh, when you go for a job interview we'll call you don't call us or we'll keep in touch and what are the ways that you know that you want to tell somebody goodbye and i've already told you that our word for today is busticate b-u-s-t-i-c-a-t-e and it means oops sorry and it means break into pieces 
so that's all we have for today like you know our show is just about five seven minutes so up top seven minutes i hope you learned something from what thanks to everyone who tuned in today Mokar still hasn't told me where you're watching from joe gibbs is in lagos Ty is in lagos my sister ella Hall is in edinburgh thank you everyone who tuned in today to watch i hope you've learned a thing or two I'll see you tomorrow again by 1 p.m. by God's grace. Thank you. Bye-bye.